this is Dr. Do again. This video is uh, uh, um, outside the medicine, still continue with uh, Psalm. I'm going to read Psalm 49. Um, Psalm 49 is a little longer than previous uh, average, but anyway, it's not that long, so I'm probably going to finish. I like to read this Psalm because uh, there are many hidden um, ideas or wisdom. For example, the communication skills. A lot of time, the Psalm uh, comes the idea uh, with the uh, plea or pray, but before that plea or pray, sometimes start with the praise. So praise how good the God is, and then ask God, here's my problem, you're so great. So this is a kind of the uh, very fundamental communication skills, but uh, so we can see from that ancient time, people still uh, already start to uh, develop this the way of communication laying out with the praise first and then plain and pray and uh, also some other kind of wisdom so that's why individual psalm has different hidden individually uh, what you can learn from it so um i'm going to read psalm 49 um i'm going to read it psalm 49 for the direct music of the sons of Quran or psalm hear this all your people listen all who live in this world both low and high, rich and poor alike. My mouth will speak words of wisdom. The utterance from my heart will give understanding. I will turn my ear to the uh, proverb. With the harp, I will expound my riddle. Why should I fear when evil days come, when wicked deceivers surround me? Who, those who trust in their wealth and boast of their great riches? No man can redeem the life of another or give to God a ransom for him. The ransom for life is costly. No payment is ever enough. That he should live on forever and no, not see him decay. For all can see that wise men die, the foolish and the senseless alike perish, and leave their wealth to others. Their tombs will remain their houses forever, their dwellings for endless generations, though they had named lands after themselves. But man, despite his riches, does not endure. He is like the beasts that perish. This is the fate of those who trust in themselves and of their followers who approve their savings. Approve their sayings. Like a sheep, they are destined for the grave, and death will feed on them. The upright will rule over them in the morning, their forms will decay in the grave, far from their princely mansion. But God will redeem my life from the grave. He will surely take me to him. Do not be overawed wild, uh, when a man grows rich, when the splendor of his house increases, for he will take nothing with him when he dies. His splendor will not descend with him. Though while he lived, he counted himself blessed, and a man praise you when you prosper, he will join the generation of his fathers, who will never see the light of life. A man who has riches without understanding is like the beast that perish. So this is Psalm 49, a little long, but I just put everything together. Again, like from the Psalm, each one has unique uh, wisdom, hidden wisdom you can learn. Uh, like I said, uh, even the fundamental communication skill, holding a, a anguish, desperate, a pray and plea, but sometimes open up with the praise. So this is a patient, uh, be patient, don't just uh, um, show your anguish or, or anxious, sometimes with the praise first and then um, laying out what do you need, what do you uh, really asking for. So that's the, the idea of this um, some of the psalms and this is psalm 49 um not by david by the people again we know it uh sons of korea or Korra. there's not this is not the first piece of them and uh uh hear this all you people listen all who live in the world both low and high rich and poor like my mouth will speak words of wisdom the utterance from my heart will give understanding i will turn my ear to a pro a proverb and the harp I will expand my riddle. These are the the uh, open up and then um, the rest of it uh, will be like uh, what he said, what he meant to say.
Okay, so um, I utter this from my heart. These are the following words are from um, from the heart. Why should I fear when evil days come, uh, when wicked deceivers surround me? Those who trust in their wealth and boast of their great riches, why should I feed those pe uh, fear of those people? No man can redeem the life of another or give to God a ransom for himself. The ransom for the life is costly. No payment is ever enough that he could ever live, live forever, not see decay. So this is what uh, um, he said, listen to me. This is what I meant to say. I'm not going to fear anybody boast in front of me, say how rich they are, but since no one uh, will hold that forever or um, um, not perish. Or, um, for all can see that wise men die, foolish and senseless, or like uh, uh, also perish, leave their wealth. So wise or, or, or a fool, they all have to have one path for each one. And even their land, their tomb, and, uh, and the riches. So, but man, despite his riches, does not endure. It's like a beast that perishes. So, endure, patience, and endurance. It's, it's, it's not new for the uh, later on, but they start from early, even though regardless your social status, you're rich or you're poor or you're high or you're low, endurance is, is for all. Okay? Um, and also, like a sheep, they are destined for, for like everybody is like a sheep, really. Uh, the destined here also mentioned the grave. So he mentioned the, um, the, the last day for everybody, it's not just the one or two. And also saying that uh, God will redeem my life uh, and uh, surely take me to himself. So this is uh, saying all of those and then uh, laying out uh, regardless you're rich or you're poor, uh, but we all go into one direction, going to the tomb, to the grave. But I said God is going to be with me and uh, lead me to his place. But this is the kind of confidence and uh, 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 make sure the belief is on top of this. Do not be overwhelmed, uh, overwhelmed when a man grows rich or slender or nothing. Or, or if you see somebody get rich or get uh, slender, do not be uh, wild or out because um, everybody will go to the same and the next because um, for he will take nothing with him. Even though he's rich, he will not take anything with it. And, and though while he lived, he counted himself blessed, and the man praised praise you when you prosper. He will join the generations of his fathers and will never see the light of life. So this is a, I think this is a, from until now, it's kind of a, um, addressing to a group of people uh, feeling that uh, they're not rich, but they, uh, they have to deal or facing those people or both around, both around, or uh, I think they are the best and I'll always uh, listening or hear the praise and the followers because they are rich and because he said, uh, man praises you when you prosper. So this is the nature, human nature is not nowadays, it's just the created with human um, when the first human created. So. The, in real life, it is real. That's another part of the psalm I like to read. Because it's real, we, individual of us, always have those, always, everybody have those moments. Um, either boast from ourselves or uh, listen to, to the boast from the others. So this is a, so if that happens, do not take it as, oh, why it happens. It happened, it happened, and, and it happened. So just to take it easy based on the sum here. Since then, there are some people boast of the richness and, uh, um, and also people praise because of the splendor, because of the rich. So these are uh, addressed to the high or to the low, to those who are rich. Ask them, uh, otherwise, them to not boast. To those uh, without rich, and ask and uh, tell them, do not be um, wild or do not be surprised or do not be discouraged so this is not new and but it happened uh, today currently now everywhere so uh, whenever this happens just do not get discouraged or feel upset uh, because this is 
is a part of human nature created with human if human are created so that's the uh, the the purpose for read of each psalm you get some idea get comfort because it is real a man who has riches without understanding is like the beast that perish this is the last sentence of the last words of the psalm so regardless of uh, especially for those people who are rich in high positions if you uh, if the psalm this last word is for those people if you're rich but you have to understand the richness is not because of you because the opportunity the god gave you and then do not forget that and that's called understanding and then um so if you have this in mind actually if if person have this in mind always feel uh, the opportunity is unique it's special always feel thankful then the life will be different so then uh, um uh, will not perish so this is a uh, uh, this is a psalm 49 seems uh, the tone a little you know uh, low or sour even a little taste of sour because talk a lot of those boast richness and people follow the splendor but behind that is the faith um i i faith of i address this not because individual when you're rich not because of you and also encourage those people not rich do not get discouraged this is just the, the, the real life and the, keep the faith, keep the understanding. So that's the Psalm for 49. Uh, probably there's some more deeper meanings, but this is uh, since the Psalm is relatively long, I already uh, passed the time. I'm going to stop here. And thank you for watching. I hope you read and interpret in your own way. I'll see you next time.